We are going to do a tutorial on finishing the outside cladding of our solar heater using the drip edge material. This is what it's going to look like. I have a piece of cardboard representing our front polycarbonate panel. Underneath we've got sandwiched in between our drip edge and our polycarbonate rubber gasket like this. Okay, with a sticky back. Our two top pieces, our front and our rear, are going to overlap on our edges here. They're going to overlap. And our side pieces, those are going to go down and they're going to wrap around the bottom like so. So this is going to shed water very nicely. The front pieces overlap the back pieces all the way around. So when this is sitting at an angle, it's going to shed water. The last piece we put on is our top front of the unit, screwed in on the side. So there we go. So you can see that we have our polycarbonate. We have a strip of the rubber gasket that's stuck on there. Underneath the polycarbonate, stuck to the steel stud, is another row of the same gasket. And that's inset about a half inch or so. Okay. So there's our side piece. I'm going to show you how to bend that. We have a slight bend in, a little cheater bend right there to keep it nice and snug against the unit and it's flat up on the top and the bottom wraps around. Okay, so we'll do that on the other side. All right, that one comes off. Okay, now our bottom piece pops right off. Our bottom piece is cut to the same length as the unit. You can have it inset slightly if you want to just to give it a little more ease for the other piece to wrap around. So maybe a sixteenth of an inch and then when you put it on you're going to center it. So you can see now the polycarbonate, it's got rubber gasket all the way around. It's one piece and I have it reattached down here. Now we've got our steel stud frame with our gasket all the way around. Now I'm going to flip it over like so. And here's the back foam piece and it's exactly the same as far as putting the pieces on as we did on the front, except your front pieces overlap no matter where you put them. Here we have the steel stud frame. All the screws have been removed. When you are putting this together, you're only taking off as you are applying your drip edge. Leave all the other screws in. So you would remove this screw, this one here, and then you're gonna put your four foot piece, of course, minus a sixteenth on each side. So we're gonna put this piece on, First, they're not going to have holes on this originally, so you're just going to have to eyeball where these holes are down here. So you're going to have to eyeball where to shoot your hole. You're going to take your self-drilling screw into the steel stud frame. Now it's time for your side piece. So I've already bent this here, but so let's bend it out and see how this thing goes. Okay, I've made a cut right here and I make a little angle. And then when I cut it, I make a snip and then a little angle snip. And then I bend this down and then I take my hand seamers. I do a little cheat bend. I've taped my hand seamers. So we're gonna go like that and then we make our bend. Now we'll pop on our top piece that's been bent on both sides to overlap our two side pieces. So we'll put that on. And there we go, we've got our back done. The back side is completed. Now we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna repeat and overlap everything. This is the time when you put the rubber gasket on so you don't damage it when you're doing the other side. Our first piece that goes on is the bottom front piece. Okay, so that is our piece right here. It's been cut to four feet minus about a sixteenth of an inch on either side. But we don't put it on now, we put it on after we put polycarbonate back on. Center it nicely, make sure it's not overlapping anywhere. If it does, you're going to have to trim it, but you should not have to do that. So next, you put your rubber gasket on it so that when you place these that rubber gasket is going to sit about midway right here, underneath. It's going to be like that when you put it down, okay? So I place that on there. I don't stretch this when I put it on, just set it down nicely. Next, we're going to take our bottom piece and screw it on 
through our original holes through the polycarbonate. There we go. You don't have to over tighten it. Then you do the next side. Line that hole up. It's about a 90 degree angle. So what you want to do is squish that down a little bit. All right, so now when we put it back on, it's going to have that much more pressure. Now we're going to have to push it down. Make sure we're still overlapping everything here. Good to have a buddy helping you. Piece number one. And it's very tight now. You can see it's biting me a little bit. Look how much tighter it is. You got a nice compressed piece in there. So the first piece we're going to put on is the back bottom piece. And we've got our bottom faced up here. And this is our short four foot piece. And this back piece goes on first. This back bottom piece, I cut it to be four feet long minus about a sixteenth on each side. You can see I have this one cut and ready to go. A little space here and a little space here. This piece here, which I've already cut, from this surface here all the way to the top of the unit. So this is going to butt up against here and it's going to come all the way to the top, slightly in, maybe a sixteenth of an inch. And then we're going to bend this using hand seamers. Let's get a better shot of what we're doing in the corner here. So we've got our back bottom again. So we're going to keep a tiny little space. This edge right here, you can see I cut it at a slight angle and then when this side bends over, it's going to overlap this bottom piece. So water is going to be able to run down and then this way and it's not going to get in. This end goes down here and it can also be just slightly inside, it doesn't really matter. This is your eight foot long piece and that sits like that. We have our screw under there, so we have to figure out how we're going to screw through that. So we're going to take that screw out and we're going to mark where that screw is in a second. Okay, so how do you know where the screws are? Well, when I screw these in, I screw it on the center rib of this one and the center rib on this one. I'll mark that right here and right here, right like that, on the edge over here. And you can measure that in if you want to. Tell you the truth, I just eyeball it. So when I put this on, next piece on right here. Okay, so that's our back piece. And I can absolutely eyeball where that screw is going to be. All right, so we have our hole. And we have our hole on the other side, on that end. Now we're going to take that piece that we cut. Now we need to put a hole in this one. So I'm just going to place this here. I usually just eyeball it. I'm looking down. My screw hole is about there. Okay, get all those lined up and drill it on in. You don't have to go real tight. Have it hold it there because we're going to bend this. We're going to take this off before we bend it. We're going to get the other piece in place. We're going to take our back long side. This piece has to go longer, so the top of your unit, you're going to line up this back piece right against that top right there. You can have it in slightly if you want, maybe a sixteenth of an inch. Now, all I'm going to do now is eyeball. So this edge right here, we're going to cut it right here, and we're going to cut it so that it sits right up to this rib straight across. And I don't mark it when I'm making it, I just do it all by eyeball. What we're going to do is we're going to cut this little extra tab off. So this part here is going to be gone. Okay, in the other video I showed myself just bending this by hand. Sure, you can do that. So what I did is I got myself my hand seamers here, put a couple of rows of tape. And next, I'm going to choose where I want to bend this thing. I'm going to go up to that line and I'm going to square it off. I'm just eyeballing it square. Fairly good at it. So I've got it right where I want to bend it. Okay, and you can see that you don't want to bend it right where this is because you need that radius. And I'm just pressing down and it bends really easily. Okay, and go like that. Put your seamers in there and just cheat them up a little bit like that. I like to over bend it a little bit so that this rests tight against this surface. So let's see how it fits. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to rebend it. I'm going to go in a little bit more. 
we're not building the space shuttle here. This is this is going to last us many years. Okay, so I eased it in a little bit more. Look at this. You can even mess up with this. Ooh, that's much better. Look at that. That looks very nice and clean. So let's go ahead. We'll shoot our screw in there. And I'm not crushing it. I'm just getting it down just, just nice and snug. All right, and that's pretty good. If you have little edges that stick out like this, you can cheat them. Now, I actually said this was the last time I took the screw out, but you knew that was not the case. Because watch this. I did this on the other one. I took this little edge right here, and I just give it a little bit of a cheater, extra bend, not much, and I just go just like that. Okay, let's see what that does. We don't want to have to catch ourselves and cut ourselves in the future moving this thing about. Pretty good. It's not too bad on the fingers. You know what you could do too? You could round that off a little bit. I'm not going to bother right now. That looks pretty good. Now we're, we are going to put a screw here and here, so that's going to suck that down even more. And I'm not trying to over tighten it. Now we're going to do the same thing on the top, except our top is going to look like this. It's going to overlap like so from the top so water doesn't drip down in. So let's flip it around. Okay, so we're going to make a piece that comes across our top and overlaps. All right, now we get to take the stickers off. You're gonna have a great looking solar heater on your house. Your neighbors are gonna ask, how did you get one of those? You'll say, I built it. They might ask you to build them one. Look how great this thing's looking. That is bomber. Clad all the way around. 